If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, we're going to be back in the H-Wing out of the Giants offensive playbook because the run plays from this one are just really good. And if you're not using them, you need to. Now, previously, what we talked about was the Power O. Really good run play, very dependable. You blend it in with everything that I've shown you or I'm going to show you, and it's just going to make it a very powerful run pass scheme. You know what I mean? But first, we're going to go ahead and sub in uh, Jones for Dylan. Okay, we need the speed on the field. Now, make sure you guys drop a like. Concept-based schemes are in the membership section. They're going to work in Madden 23 because, like I said, concept-based it always works, you know? And since Madden doesn't really change a lot from year to year, it's obviously gonna work. Because <laughs> it's lazy development, man. They're too worried about mutt. So that just helps us as far as developing the schemes. All right, so I form H wing, bro. The play we're gonna talk about is a run play, the halfback stretch. Now, people do have a lot of success running this play. I've had people in the comment section of my previous videos tell me about this play right here. So we'll run it against anything, I guess. I don't know if it's random 4 3. Now, Typically, what you want to do is you just want to run the ball, right? You want to run the ball to the weak side of the field. You can run it and try to flip the play and come this way. However, remember what I tell you guys about shedding, okay? Sometimes whenever you run a stretch because they semi-nerfed the stretch, they fully nerfed the toss plays, they semi-nerfed the stretch plays, and they haven't touched the zone weeks, okay? Those plays, the zone weeks are very powerful in themselves, but you can run this play, try to go to the left with the stretch, get to the outside so you see right there that that actually my damn bro my jukes right there but you're gonna see the auto shedding of what i'm talking about now another thing that happens whenever you're running with the ball if you don't have a fast running back and you're holding the turbo button that actually initiates some of the auto sheds as well as i've come to learn from playing the game you know a lot so running it to the strong side a little bit harder because remember they nerf the stretch and they typically nerf it to the strong side now, if you come over here and you run it to the to the weak side, chances are you're going to get a lot more yards. Now, being that there's a 4-3, if you're having trouble with the run, this could be a very good defense to use, maybe out of the cover two or something like that, to try to stop the stretch play. So I think it's a beneficial that we saw the, four, uh, the wide defense as far as 4-3 goes. However, to counter that, you want to run plays like ISO. So if they have a spread look, you want to come over here to the ISOs and run it up the middle, but I'm a bum. There was an open lane right there that I didn't hit. Don't make that mistake, okay? Now, against pass defense, anything's pretty much going to work. Even the ISO plays, unless someone auto sheds, I mean, you're off probably for a touchdown running plays like this, all right? So you see pass defense like the 2-4-5 odd, those, you do that. Now, to the stretch play, okay? Run the play to the weak side. You're going to have more success than not. Remember what I tell you guys about running it to the weak side. Going to have a lot more success and consistency. All right, here we go again right here. Boom, just run it to the weak side. Follow the blocks, get up the field. Seven, eight yards at a time, very easy. Again, running it over here to this side, cutting in and out. Boom. All right, here we go again, run the stretch. This is pass defense, so you can just imagine what you're about to do. If my man Lewis would have picked up that block, we would have been in good shape. However, he chose not to. He decided to be a bum. Two, four, five, I mean, the yeah, the double A gap. You could break for a touchdown there. As you can see, the possibilities are endless depending on the situation usually when they have two linebacker backers like that it's going to be hard for them to stop this run play i want to say the best bet is to run the four three cover two defense if they're offset to this side you can mess around and like flip the play forcing your opponent to make those adjustments with you you know what i'm saying or uh you can switch to the iso run right up the middle because it's very weak up the gas so you want to run iso take off up the middle of the field, and then just hope someone does an auto shed like they do right there. But the star of the formation is going to be the stretch, running it to the weak side. Remember what I tell you guys, see? 10 yards right there, just running it to the weak side because the game sucks, right? I didn't make it, it's just the way it is. Running it to the weak side. Seven yards, seven, eight yards at a time. Okay, so that stretch, like I said, you can bust for touchdowns. Even against the safety blitz, you can get mad yards. Okay, coming over here, just wait for, oh, damn, bro. Off to the races, like I said. If you have better run stick than me, off to the races, son. Okay, so you have that play. That's the run play that you want to use in conjunction with the power O. Uh, what else we have? We have ISO, zone weak. I've showed you guys. 
the zone weak run plays. I don't know if I showed that in the last video, but this play hasn't been nerfed at all, okay? And this is probably the next powerful play that's going to be in the formation because your opponent's never gonna know what you're running. Now, if they can pick up the blocks, but you're seeing the lanes open up. The user's gonna have to user rush that. And it's very, like I said, it's just very hard for them to stop this run play in itself and keep you from gaining all those yards. All right, so the pass play. Show you guys the pass play from this joint real quick. And it's going to be the PA Power O. Now, this one's very simple to set up. We'll run random defense, doesn't matter. You can run it. Actually, no, there's another play in here. My bad. The first setup is going to be streaking B for this play right here and reading the flood concept to the right. Boom. If you have the flat, you take the flat. You know what I mean? If you have, if you want to sit there and wait for the corner route, you sit there and wait for the corner route. Typically, the user gods realize that you're going to try to run this flood concept. They'll go jump the corner route, but you can still try to hit it. Now, one mistake I made with this play, and this is why I wouldn't recommend you running this play, uh, because the X route, the X route has to be, you have to put them on an in route, and that's where I messed up. However, there's a play in this formation. Let me show you guys. PA spot, okay? PA spot is the play that you should be running, and you can run the play stock because if you want to hit the your opponent low, you could be looking for this table route and B route combination right here. Okay, so you have the B route. My man's a bum, couldn't catch the ball. But you'll have the B route open in a lot of zone defenses, bro. It's crazy. Now, you do have to worry about, uh, make sure you low ball that. If it's man defense, low ball that. And how you low ball that is you hold the left trigger and then press the route you want to put. So you can run this play stock looking for your underneath routes. You know what I mean? Like that. And you can low ball B to the left. Boom. The game sucks. They can't defend that. They can't pick it off. Nothing can happen. All right. Now, what you can also do is put B on a streak. And then you have your X route on the inner route, like I was saying. So you have table, you have corner, boom, and you have X route. Low ball that joint. God. You low ball that, right? If they're on man defense and you just want to go down and get the yards, you do that. Okay, so streaking B again. Just too many reads on this play. Now we got A. We can low ball that back this way. What the hell is wrong with this team? Or what the hell is wrong with this game, bro? Nobody wants to catch the damn ball. Like the whole idea of the game is to catch the ball, bro. What the hell are you doing? So I have flat corner route i have x route everybody's open in that zone defense probably could hit a, a a lot sooner um but it is what it is i'm just trying to show you guys the play develop so streaking b remember flat you got flat you got x route you got a route mad defense you want to look for that x route and if it's if running a lot of mad defense then don't be afraid to set up your own drags and slants you know what i mean you could do that as well so that's that play these are the plays that i wanted to share with you guys I hope you like it. Remember power O ISO. You do have slant, but I mean, it's up to you. It's a stick. looks like a stick concept, kind of like on the right side, but it is what it is, man. Uh, I don't know how good slants are right here because that's actually a spy right there, but you could probably get behind this guy over here. Boom. I would probably wouldn't recommend running that slant like consistently, maybe sometimes, but not consistently. Anyway, make sure you guys drop a like. Love you.